Hey, Aiden, how are you doing? Doing well, how are you doing? Good. Um, I guess, uh, you know, go back to last year. Was was it the Illinois game where you injured your foot? Um, I actually had two different injuries. Or I injured actually one foot against Illinois and the other against Northwestern. So it was kind of a uh, compound of things that happened. But, uh, you know, we're looking ahead now. Um, was it, was it the, was it, were they both the same injuries or were they different injuries? Yeah, they were slightly different, both on my feet, but slight, slightly different uh, injuries. All right. Um, how tough it was it than it was to play in that Northwestern game? Because I do remember you hobbling around a little bit. Yeah, it was, you know, um, definitely was a little hard, but I, I would say adrenaline makes up for a lot of, a lot of things. <laughs> adrenaline makes you feel pretty good. So um, definitely during the game, you're, you're pretty focused, especially when you're in between the white lines, you know, you got a goal that you want to accomplish. So I, I won't say it affected me too much. And just so when you, when you got told the news that they needed to shut you down and surgery was probably, uh, what you needed to have, just how did you take that? And just how did you deal with all that, uh, the last few weeks of the season? Yeah, it was, it was disappointing. Um, you know, we, uh, we're playing well the first three games and, you know, I, you know, you love when you're competitor, you love to be on the field, you love to play and, um, mainly you just want to be out there for your teammates uh, and show them that you care and, and you love the game. And that's, that probably was the hardest part is just, you know, not being out there with the guys and, um, you know, just having to be on the sideline is never fun. You, you don't come to a school to watch, you come to play. So um, it was definitely a difficult um, time. When did, when did you have surgery then? Uh, I had surgery on December 8th. Okay. And are you, I mean, I know you're limited this spring, but this kind of, how, how has your recovery process been? And Jack mentioned that he thought you were ahead of schedule, but I'd rather hear it from you. Yeah, it's, it's been, it's been going well. Um, uh, you know, I'm just trying to get as much treatment as I can. In the off season, you have a, a little bit more time. Um, and those first six weeks after surgery, I, re I really couldn't do much with the trainers. And I was at home anyway, uh, because we were on break. So you know, once I got back, really just trying to get in the training room as much as I can. And things are going really well. You know, it's still uh, not 100 percent, not where I need to be, but um, we're on the right track. Did you take any reps today? I did. I, I didn't take any live reps, but um, everything else, uh, you know, we just are kind of limiting uh, having the defender rush at me as, as of right now. But um, I took other reps, individual reps and um, stuff like that. Which foot is it? I mean, is, is it your plant one or uh, the other it's, one? It's, it's my right foot. Okay. All right. How does that affect your your throwing? Um, you know, throwing actually is um, coming back to me pr pretty easily. Um, uh, you still want to have flexion in that right toe when, when you drop back to pass and when you push off, because that's kind of your what you push off to throw. So it's definitely important to uh, have strength there. But it feels good when I'm throwing. Um, you know, it's just that was part of the process was – you know, there's different steps to it. It's getting back, you know, walking and then jogging and throwing and then sprinting. So we're just trying to, you know, uh, filter through it. One of one of the trainers told you that they think you'll be as normal as possible. Um, it's still up in the air as of now. It's it's kind of determined how I feel and, uh, you know, based on uh, how I'm feeling. And um, really, it's just um, kind of a decision that has to be made week by week. All right. Just how do you, how do you evaluate what you did last year in the, the three game snapshot that you that you played? Yeah, you know, I think I did some good things. Um, and, and then, you know, the, the things that, as I mentioned, you think about more is the things that you didn't do so well and that um, you have to get better at. And that's, you know, uh, there's a long list that I need to get better at. And uh, you just start chipping away. And, uh, you know, that's if you love the game, you, you love to do that. You love to try and get better. So. I'm just chipping away at the things I need to get better at. You know, since you've factored into this quarterback uh, situation the last couple of years, how do you feel like you've you've grown, you've matured, and kind of handled the the immediate spotlight or limelight that you've kind of jumped into? Yeah, you know, it's it's uh, it was a dream of mine to be in this position. So you know, I when I came to Purdue as a as a walk on, you know, I I came here because I wanted to play. I come here to you know, sit on the bench and watch. I came here because I believed in myself. And, uh, you know, I think I've, I've done a pretty good job so far, but 
um, more than that, realize how, how much uh, farther I have to go to get to where I want, where I want to be. So um, it's, you know, it's fun to reflect on it right now, but you know, when you're still in the heat of it, uh, I think it's more important to put your head down and keep working. How did you handle the COVID year as far as off the field and what things did you have to give up doing in order to try to stay safe and keep, keep your teammates safe as well? Yeah. You know, it was an extremely difficult year for a lot of people. I, I can't say enough about the coaches, the trainers, um, all the support staff and, uh, my teammates about how much they sacrificed. And, um, you know, for me personally, I don't, uh, uh, you know, enjoy doing stuff. I'm pretty boring. I like staying at my park, uh, relaxing. So, it really wasn't too much of a change for me. It was kind of played right into my into my strong suit, you could say, just uh, relaxing, hanging out. But um, there was, uh, I mean, just an un unreal amount of sacrifice from players and coaches and, and support staff. And you guys are still doing that now, right? I, I assume you're still getting tested every day? Uh, we're still in, in te uh, cycles of testing um, to, to make sure we're safe, obviously, because the virus is still here. So, you know, that's a difficult part when the season – you know, it was over and we came back. It wasn't just, you know, um, we can uh, wash our hands and move on. You know, it's, the virus is still here and um, we're still trying to maintain those protocols to stay healthy. All righty. Thank you. Okay, Tom. Hey, Aiden, I know everybody says you're, quote, limited this spring. Give us an idea of what you are able to do. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, you know, I can, you know, move around a good, a good amount. I can really any, anything throwing the ball I'm able to do. Um, if I can, if I can drop back and throw, I'm able to do that. It's, it's the, uh, you know, moving in the pocket and, uh, with like, as I mentioned, defenders rushing at me that we're trying to limit just in case, you know, someone comes and I have to step a certain way. I don't want to tweak it or do something like that. So really anything drop back, throwing the ball, I'm, I'm able to do. And, um, you know, I'm just trying to get healthy. So, uh, you know, I can work on that uh, quickness and, uh, you know, agility a little bit, um, when I get healthy. You feel a little bit antsy not being able to be full go like you're falling behind. Yeah, it's definitely you know when you have uh, a crowded room, uh, you want to be out there competing. As I mentioned, you know, you, you know, uh, it's good to, to take mental reps and be in the back and um, seeing what you what you would do if you're out there. But it's you know you you want to be out there doing it and you want to have those um, repetitions and practice because those are. Uh, what prepare you for the game. So it's, it's definitely tough standing back there uh, for a lot of practice, but I'm just, uh, you know, trying to make the most of the opportunity. Have you thought of how you and Jack's roles have been reversed from last spring or he was the guy who was limited and now this year you're the guy who was limited. Has he offered you any counsel? Yeah, it is, it's funny how that worked actually completely backwards. It's, it's funny how that works, but, um, you know, we, we, uh, I don't know if he's given me any specific uh, wisdom about it, but, you know, he's one of my very close friends. We, we uh, hang out a lot, talk a lot. So, um, you know, he's just a, a great guy. And we're, we really have a great quarterback room. Uh, we have a lot of great guys who, you know, get along. And um, it's just, uh, yeah, they're just fun to be around. And then close games, Aiden. Um, every game Purdue was in was 10 points or less, five or seven points or less. What do you guys do to – to be able to close the deal on those close games and be on the other end of them as, as a winner. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's hard, you know, there's no, you know, secret formula to that it's, it's, uh, um, it's a team game. It's uh, three phases have to come together and, you know, um, kind of play perfect. And each game, there's a narrative of what happens, you know, if the offense is struggling, the defense has to pick you up or the defense is struggling, the offense has to pick it up. And so um, really the, the key is just to come together as a team um, and, and be one and, you know, have the defense and offense and special teams all rely on each other. Thank you, 